Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I'm doing a full face of drugstore first impressions. Now, these are not new products, but they are new to me because I bought them, I have no idea how long ago, and I have never tried them. So everything that I have on my face, except for maybe two things, I have never tried before. Now, I'm not gonna do like a tutorial. I really just wanna have a kind of chit chat, get ready, talk to you guys, give you some updates on what's going on with me. And so yeah, this is the look that I came up with. Most of the products I used were from Believe Beauty. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with that brand. It's new to me. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. And this is the look that I came up with. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. We do hauls, beauty hauls, I've done shoes, I've done hair, we do tutorials, we do reviews, I do nails, it's a lot, but it's all beauty related and I love sharing with you guys. I won't keep you waiting any longer, so if you wanna see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. So I have a bunch of drugstore products in front of me and these are all products that you've seen me haul but I have not used them yet. And I'm really trying to do better about buying stuff, showing it in a haul and then just putting it up. So most of this stuff, it was all bought at separate times. First thing I'm putting on is this Believe Beauty. This is the Pretty in Prime Stay Put Makeup Primer. I picked this up from a Dollar Tree. And if I can remember how long ago, I'm gonna tell y'all, cause that just goes to show how much it doesn't make sense. I bought that in July, hadn't used it yet. I have no idea how it's gonna work, if it's gonna stay, if it's gonna keep my makeup in place, like none of that stuff. So right off the bat, this feels, mm -mm. I don't think it has a silicone feel, but I do feel like it has a little bit of a slip to it, which I don't mind. This primer does feel really good. It almost kind of feels hydrating a little bit, like moisturizer texture, more than it does like primer, but not bad. We just need to see if it's gonna hold up. For foundation, I also picked up the Believe Beauty foundation. I got mine in the shade Sable. Now the Dollar General that I went to did not have a lot of shades, and the shade that was before this one was way too light. So I know this is gonna be dark. We have seen me use dark foundations and make it work. So that is what we're gonna do. I did open this to swatch it. I think I showed it in my video, pretty sure. But it does come with a pump. And I'm gonna just start off with one and a half, mainly in my problem areas. But I have been looking for this foundation for a while and wasn't able to find it. So when I found it at the Dollar General, I was just like, okay, I need to get this because I need to try it out. I've heard a lot of people talk about it, but just not being able to find it kind of frustrated me because I felt like, you know, FOMO, I was missing out. I know this is dark, but I like to get the undertone right and then I can finesse the shade as opposed to having an undertone that is off. I don't want to look gray. I don't want to look yellow. So I'm not sure how this one is classified, but I like this undertone. So that's about a pump and a half, which I think it's pretty good coverage. I'm going to go ahead and put my LA Girl concealer to color correct under my eyes and just let that sit trying to decide if I want more coverage or not. I think this looks good, but you know how we are. We always want to do like, I don't know, I'm kind of in a glam mood. I'm going to put a little bit more just to see how it builds up. So I'm just going to take one more pump and we'll go from there. But anyway, I'm filming this on September 19th. I don't know when it's going to go up because <laughs> I am behind. I have so many videos that I've filmed and just haven't edited yet or I've gotten requests for collabs and then I'm like okay I need to do those first and then the next thing you know I have old videos that have just been sitting but 
I mean, I filmed them, I still wanna show them. So hopefully this won't be too far behind. I actually got the news yesterday that my second grandbaby was born. Her name is Jada Lane and she was seven pounds, seven ounces, I believe. So they just got home today and I'm actually going to go to the house, go to the house to spend time with them as soon as I'm done filming. So another reason why I'm getting ready. For concealers, I am not sure which one I wanna use. I have this Wet n Wild Incognito concealer, which I haven't used, but I kinda wanna use the Believe one. Now here's the deal. Never wore this, swatched it once. Next thing you know, I open it and I go to pull it out and the little doe foot gets stuck on the inside. So I just pulled the stopper out so that I'll be able to use it. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Um, but yeah, that was pretty disappointing. Like right off the bat, that's what happens. Actually, this might not be light enough with my foundation being so dark. So we may end up mixing them. Cause this wet and wild one looks really light. Yeah. So we're just gonna do this a little bit around it to blend them together. Bam. Yeah, so I am, I call myself a Gigi. We don't do grandma. A Gigi again. And yeah, it does kind of make me feel old. <laughs> I mean, I'll be 40 in March and I'm kind of just like, hey kid, I need you to chill out in terms of my son, but he's doing well, he's finding his way. So, you know, it's really hard as a parent, you just have to kind of let go of the reins sometimes and let your kids do what they're gonna do and try your best to support them. Even if you don't love the decisions that they're making, you don't want them to feel like they don't have any support or help. So we've been navigating that part, but overall, I'm happy to see that he's finding his way and his girlfriend is really sweet. So that definitely helps. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Wet n Wild only because I just wanna make sure it stays bright enough. I think the coverage is pretty good though. I'll put some more here on the outside. I like how this is looking so far. I don't know if it's the combo or they're both really great. That's why I don't normally like mixing products because you don't know which one works the best, but I like how these are playing together. So I don't know, I'm disappointed about that belief one because like I said, I didn't even get to use it right before the damn applicator broke. For my powder to set under my eyes, I also have Belief Beauty. It's their Matte Blur Loose Powder in Translucent. As I said, I tried to grab as much of their stuff as I could because there wasn't a lot of options and definitely not in my shade. So this I actually just opened, haven't even swatched it yet. It is pretty light. So I think I'm gonna go in with a brush first to see how this is gonna set because I'm always nervous baking with a new powder just in case this thing gives me flashback because I do plan on taking pictures today. <laughs> I do see that it is matte and I do kind of feel like it's giving me a blurring effect. So, interesting. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use, I'm kind of nervous about using this because I think the shade is kind of funky. This is the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Instant Wrinkle Blurring Press Powder. This is in the shade Tawny, and I think I should have got Toasted Almond, but I feel like, I don't remember why I didn't. Maybe they didn't have it. I don't know what. It's a little bit lighter, so that's also gonna be good because of the fact that our foundation is dark. Ooh. I'm not gonna use a lot of this because like I said, I'm not sure about this undertone. But also right now, I am actually getting ready to compete. I compete on the 26th, 27th, whatever Sunday it is, um, in Kansas City. And 
this will be like my first, it's not my first meet back, but it's like the biggest meet that I've done coming back. So I'm pretty excited, a little nervous. I'm cutting weight. I don't know if you guys can tell my face is slimmer. I'm down about 15 pounds from this summer. So I needed to lose the weight anyway, <laughs> but this was my motivation for doing it. And I definitely want to keep it off. For my face powders, blush, I'm going to use this Morphe face palette. This is in the shade 8R. That's rich. You guys did see this in a haul. And this is what it looks like. Colors are absolutely gorgeous. And I have a bunch of different bronzers in here. So I threw away the sheet with the names on it. Ooh, that's dark. That says contour. That is definitely contour. Hold on. Um... I only dip my brush in there like barely. Okay, hold on. <laughs> First impressions, all right. Yeah, so I'm also getting ready to compete, which I am really excited about. Training has gone well. It's always good coming back from an injury if you can go a training cycle and not get hurt. So it has been challenging to say the least, but I always enjoy it. This contour powder is so dark. I'm kind of scared to use it. I'm going to dip my brush in and kind of... Ooh wee. I ain't mad at it though. Definitely would rather too dark than something I can't use. But I also picked this palette up because I planned on trying to use it for if I'm doing makeup and I have clients who are of a deeper complexion to see how it would work. I'm about to put a headband on because this hair is driving me nuts. She cute, but Lord, these little flyaways. All right, so yeah, there needs to, I feel like there needs to be like a middle shade. That is insane. Oh, a middle shade with this powder because it's like super dark and then just barely a bronzer for me so it's cute but that's dark and we ain't gonna put too much of that because we are already super dark <laughs> for blush so here's the deal this is the palette i'm gonna use this is the belief beauty as well this is their sultry sunset eyeshadow palette so it is a really warm, gorgeous color story. And so for blush, because I don't wanna use this super shimmery one, I'm gonna mix these two. I did get a cream blush from them, but it doesn't go with this look. This is the shade, and when I swatched it, oh, you know, that might not be that bad. It doesn't go with this look, but I just feel like that's going to be too light for me. So I don't know. I tried to pick something different from other blushes that I have instead of just picking something that I knew was going to go. So that was a bit of a bust. But I'm going to just mix these two blushes because one's a shimmer and one's a matte. So that's another reason. And I'm expecting pigment if it's anything like those bronzers. But yeah, really excited about the meet. A lot of life stuff going on that I'll share later. Um, some big changes coming and it's stuff that I'm looking forward to. It's kind of bittersweet, but at the same time, like it's something that I feel needs to happen. Um, I don't post as much about my fitness stuff as I used to. But that is a huge part of my life. I'm going to use the highlight. No, I'm going to use a different highlighter. I have this Revlon Skin Lights, and I have not used this yet either. I just swatched it, so we're going to use that. Um, ooh. Okay. Um, it is a huge part of my life, and I pretty much, my life revolves around it, like what I do on the weekends, depending on where I am in prep, if I have a meet coming up, how I interact with my friends. Um, it's just, it's so ingrained in what I love that any chance I have to better myself through that or 
you know, help others or whatever. I just, that's what I gravitate towards. And so I've had a lot of time to think. And right now I have an opportunity to further that. So I've decided to take it and I'll share more later. But for right now, the focus is this meat, getting my weight down to make sure that I can be in my weight class. I still have another seven pounds to lose, but not worried. I know that's gonna be fine. I love how this is looking so far. It's just the base, but it's still very clean, very smooth, everything working well together. For the eyes, we're gonna start with this palette and I'm gonna start, it feels like all these shades are kind of like satins. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're not really like, matte but i think it'll be okay i'm gonna start with whoa a lot coming up in the pan i'm gonna start with the tan shade okay i wasn't sure if any how pigmented that was gonna be but it looks pretty good i don't know what i want to do with my eyes so i might just start with this i'm kind of tempted to go smoky and use that red and match my shirt but let's see I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go with the red. Why not? It's Sunday. I haven't done red since my birthday, so we're just gonna go for it. I should have took out my brushes, all those brushes that I hauled recently. Ooh, that's pretty. But we are using my regular brushes. But yeah, so my goal for this meet, because it is my first meat since I've been back to actually cut weight and I am competing in sleeves not in wraps my goal I always try to set a goal to keep myself focused and to also push myself was to is <laughs> to squat 400 pounds which is about 30 pounds off of the best I've ever done and it's ironic because this meet is two years to the day from the day of my first surgery. So it's definitely going to be memorable and exciting and a little nerve wracking. Um, for my bench press, I'm not sure because usually when you cut weight for a meet, your bench press is the first thing that suffers. And also because if my shoulders or anything is hurting from squats, then that can affect it too. But these colors are really pigmented. Squirrel, got distracted. Um, it also just depends on how I'm feeling after squats. So my goal is around 240, maybe 250. Um, my best ever is 260, so that would be pretty sweet to be almost back to where I was before I got hurt. And then for my deadlift, I have already surpassed my deadlift from before I got hurt. So now it's just a matter of can I cut the weight and at least tie it, but of course I want to beat it. Um, and that's 500 and one pounds and I'm gonna do all of that weighing in at 148 pounds which I have done before so nerve-wracking but exciting because I'm so close to where I was and it's only been two years and I remember talking to my doctor when I first got hurt and I asked how long he thought it was gonna be before I got back to Com to just competing again, not even like back to the numbers I had. I'm going to use the bronzer and just kind of diffuse this. Um, back to the numbers where I was before and he looked at me like I was crazy. Like I was like a year and he just stared at me. Okay, two years and he still just stared at me. So I've kind of tried to not put too much pressure on myself to rush back to hit the numbers that I hit before because I know, you know, I am limited now. My knee still hurts. It is smaller than, my whole leg is smaller than the other leg. Um, 
So because I lost the muscle mass. So it's a bit of a gamble, but I'm trying to make sure this is even. I feel like this side looks a little patchy, but I also have a scar on this side. So it could be due to that, which I think it is. So that's fine. Um, you know, it's just a matter of figuring out how to keep me healthy, not have any setbacks and continue to progress because I'm hard headed and I'm stubborn and I want to do well. I don't want to be stuck lifting the same numbers that I did before and not improving. I'm really liking this palette and the cool thing, I don't see any fallout at all. So that is a good thing. I'm not done with my eyes yet, but I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm going to use, I have that Milan brow pomade. I think I used, I used it on one eyebrow. Yeah, I used it on one brow and then I used something else. So I'm just going to fill in my brows with this real quick. Probably going to do it off camera because you guys have seen me do my brows and then I'll come back. All right, so brows are done. I'm going to go back into my eyeshadow palette and I want to highlight my brow bone, which I don't normally do, but I think I want to do it this time so that I can kind of carve out my brows a little bit. They're still in that we're growing out phase. I'm just taking the lightest shade here and doing that. Um, they're growing out and I like how full they are, but sometimes I do want them to be a little bit sharper. I like the bushy look too, so I'm just happy now I have the option to do both, but I'm not gonna put a ton of this, just a little bit to make it look a little bit cleaner, and then I'll blend that out. I'm not sure if I even talked about this whenever I first told about my fitness journey, but I've been doing this for a really long time. I've been competing since, for eight years now, since 20, 13, I think, was my first competition, and then just in fitness in general, maybe another year before that. So it's been a long time, and I'm not tired of it yet at all. I'm still trying to think of ways that I can improve, want to get stronger. So it has definitely been something that I'm just trying to amp this up a little bit. I don't know why because it's already pretty bright. I think mainly because it changed my life so much. I wasn't in a very good place mentally whenever I started lifting, just not very confident in myself, not living a good lifestyle at all, just drinking a lot and partying and, you know, not taking care of myself. And unfortunately, my family has a history of really bad health issues, so, I was just kind of headed down the same path that everybody else was. And I'm happy that I found this because it gave me a reason to want to do something different. I'm going to take this gold shade and I'm going to go on the inner corner a little bit. Oh, I feel like this is going to be really pigmented. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that is pretty. But yeah, so I'm just excited to have been able to find something that I love, something that I'm passionate about, and something that makes me want to take care of myself because that hasn't always been the case. So you guys comment below and let me know, are any of you into fitness? Are you wanting to get into it? Are you, do you have any questions for me? Are you scared of it? A lot of people... You know, you hear all the time, people are like, oh, I don't want to look like a man and the muscles on a woman is manly. I'm sorry, but I would much rather have the muscles that I have than being uncomfortable in my clothes and constantly feeling like I need to be covered up and not wanting people to even see me. Like, don't look at me. I feel ugly. I feel fat. And I know... You know, this is, um, <laughs> I'm just going in. This is a brown liner. I tore off the plastic, so I have no idea what color it is, but this is from LA Girl. You know, you hear people saying different stuff. I had, oh Lord, hairspray. Um, I had several different family members say really negative things to me when I got into fitness and started, my body started changing. And 
I was smaller than I am now and being told that I look like a man. So I'm sure they have opinions now, but guess what? I always say something smart back because a lot of times the guys, and it's mostly guys, um, who want to tell me that I look like a man don't even have muscles. And I'm like, well, if I look like a man, what do you look like? People just don't think about the impact of their words. I'm gonna put a little more powder under my eyes because I feel like they're starting to crease. Um, they just think they can say whatever to what, whoever they want and it doesn't matter. They're gonna just, it's fine. You know, just because I'm in a space where, yes, I'm not working out to look a certain way. I'm working out because I want my body to do something. But it haunted me for a while, you know, just feeling like, do I look like a man? Am I unattractive? But I didn't love myself before. And now I love myself because of what I've accomplished and the people that I've inspired. So it's more thinking about that as opposed to making it just about me and about what I'm trying to look like because I don't know that I'll ever be happy. There are times when I do feel good. You know, I feel like my hard work is paying off and I like how I look. But overall, having body dysmorphia where you don't see yourself for how you really look, you're never going to be satisfied. You're always going to think you're bigger than you are. You're always going to think something's wrong. And unfortunately, that's something that I've battled since high school. So this is it for the eye look. I need to get a mascara. I'm not sure which one I want to use for my eyeliner. I think I have a new one. I got everything on my table right here, but I don't see it. Well, I guess I need to get, a oh, here it is. Yeah, duh. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This is in black. This was some special packaging that they had and I hauled this because everybody was talking about how this is one of the best drugstore liners. And so I'm like, okay, I need to jump on the bandwagon, but I haven't used it. It's a brush tip and it kind of reminds me of my all time favorite physician's formula. The brush tip anyway, that's it. And the packaging. But it is definitely black. I wanna do too, too big of a wing and cover up my eyeshadow and just like that, it's gonna get bigger. But yeah, having body dysmorphia and not ever being completely happy with how I look is not gonna change just because I'm lifting weights, but it helps me focus on something else as opposed to just the physical. I'm gonna do the other liner, I'm gonna find my mascara and we are gonna go from there. For mascara, I grabbed the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I've had this forever. I got it when I could finally find it after all the hype when it first came out. And then I was like, I'm not gonna open it because I have other mascaras open, but we're gonna open it today. Oh, wanna see, this makes me nervous because it, okay, that's just extra mascara. I thought my brush was about to break. Let's see what the hype is. I already do. I can tell right off. If I swipe one time and I already see my lashes lengthening and separating, we have a winner. And I'm gonna mess up my eyeshadow. This reminds me a little bit of the highly rated mascara from Milani, which y'all know I fell in love with. Actually, this is clumping a little bit more than that one. So maybe I'll need to not put so much on. I don't know if you guys can see my lashes. I think you can. Um, but it's also a very wet formula. And I think the Milani one is a little drier, which is why I liked it. Yeah, this mascara is good. I'm just trying to decide if I want to put lashes on. I don't think I do. No, we're not. We're going to stay like that. So for lips, I have More Belief Beauty. I did get one of their lip liners. This is in the shade Hint of Plum, which I need to swatch this because I think it's gonna be, yeah, this is not, oh, why is this melting already? Ooh, Lord. Belief, y'all gotta do something with y'all packaging. This is too red, too pinkish, not for what we have going on today. So not gonna wear that. I'm gonna go in with my all-time favorite liner. This is 
the, come on, Barbara, Rimmel. <laughs> Exaggerate. This is in the shade Obsession. As you can see, that one's a lot more red, which we're just going to have a red lip today. It's a different shade of red. It kind of matches my cheeks more than it does my eyes, but that's all right. I think I want something darker. I'm probably gonna go around this with something darker, but I'm gonna go ahead and use, do I have something in here? No. Let's see how this looks together first. I have their Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is also Belief Beauty in the shade Tea Time, which is just a pretty nude there. These almost blend, so yeah. I don't normally do that close, but that's not bad. I definitely want to outline my lips with something though. I'm going to grab a darker shade and then we're pretty much going to be done. I'm going to set my face and come back and give you guys my final thoughts on the products. All right, guys. So that is it for this video. I just used a liner that was a little more brownish red around the outside to give my lips a little more definition. And that is it. I sprayed my face. I used this e.l.f. matte blotting mist, but then I went over it with the Physicians Formula Butter Believe It Skin Mist. I hadn't used this yet. Don't know when I bought it. I feel like it was like last summer or something. I don't even know. But I didn't want my face to be too matte, but I also wanted something that was gonna hold. So quick rundown of the products. No complaints at all. Absolutely loved everything. I'm not sure about <laughs> this CoverGirl powder because again, I did say that the shade was a little off, but it worked for today. I think we got a pretty good match. Not too bad. Love this Morphe palette, but that deep bronzer is super deep. So have to use a light hand with that. This highlighter is good, really good. I kind of want to put some more, but I'm literally just going to see my grandbaby, so that's not necessary. This palette is really good. I'm surprised. Like, I kind of want to get more of them. I don't know. If I can find them in other stores, I may check out another one, maybe something more colorful or something if it has different textures just to see what that's like. Um, the foundation, I love. I think my face looks really good. I think it looks smooth. I just wish they had more shades. So hopefully that's going to come out. Mascara I loved, lip color I love, not sure which concealer made me feel like it was the best, but no creasing. I set my eyes, the powder is good. All of it was a hit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like these kind of videos where it's more just talking and getting ready or do you want tutorials? I feel like I kind of haven't done just a chit chat so just wanted to i like being transparent i like telling you guys what's going on and just sharing stuff so if you're new i would love to have you join the family hit that subscribe button become a part of our squad and i will see you guys in the next video bye